copy this. This is the age of health, wealth and fitness. You have no excuse but to stay healthy. Whether you're on the treadmill, at home, in the gym, or you're walking up and down your staircase, or maybe you've gone for a long walk, it's important that you wear the appropriate clothing anytime you decide to exercise. We've just seen a young lady walk into the gym. She was inappropriately dressed. She's wearing jeans, a monostrapped t-shirt, and she's wearing pumps. And guess what? Her hair is all over the place. Now that's a complete no-no when it comes to gym etiquette. Fine. Yeah, the gym. Yeah, let's try to right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming of course. Okay, there right here. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Check it out. polite when you're in the gym we all have a favorite piece of equipment but guess what if it's being used at that time you either wait politely for your turn or why not use another equipment about sweat attack. A good day in the gym is when you have really sweated. Why sweat all over the machine at the detriment of another user? It's important to wipe down the machine before and after use. But guess what? Look at her hair again. All over the place. You must tie your hair up ladies. It's really important for health and safety reasons. Welcome back. So that we're not talking about exercise now. <laughs> so we'll get back to the one of the I was telling you a story about Good. The, the traditional roller. So I was holding my ha my cap in my hand and he turns to the, the guide and said he knows the uh, tradition. Mm -hmm. He knows not to because the traditional ruler is wearing his own cap. Right. I'm not supposed to wear mine well, unless I'm true. going to kneel down if, until if I stand up. Tradition. But that's the tradition. Mm. Wow. So we were talking about wearing caps appropriately and <clears throat> yes, at the right place at the right time. Absolutely. Because you can wear, like I said, weddings, funerals, social events, lunch dates, movies, you know, you can name it. Mm -hmm. But then again, we started off with homes, not to talk of worship places. So there are some worship places where you're expected to take your cap off or the place of worship. It doesn't even have to be a worship um house is in the place of worship like in the place of prayer so some men are expected to remove their caps then there are other religions where you are expected to wear your cap so for instance islamic and the jewish religion they expect you to wear your cap and then you follow suit at that point in time whenever there's a national anthem being played now sometimes it depends on if you're in the forces or you follow the tradition or the culture of your country it is expected in some places to actually take off your cap in respect of your national anthem or if the national flag is even flying so most men in the forces when they see the national flag flying they will actually remove their cap so it depends on where you are again um some institutions so you're going for a lecture or you're going for a training or you're going for you know <clears throat> an in-house um environment where you're going to learn something some institutions will tell you we don't expect men to wear caps especially when you come in with a baseball cap you look too casual for that environment they want you to be semi-formal so they will tell you no caps please and ladies no hats but that's different if you're wearing a scarf and it has to do with your religion so and then again if you're wearing traditional it's different but if you're in a t-shirt jeans <clears throat> they don't even expect you to wear that um at work you're wearing a suit we do not expect you to wear any kind of cap with your suit in the office but if it's a casual friday and you're wearing your traditional and you want to don a cap they will actually see it as part of your 
outfit okay um of course again some dinner places some restaurants some formal restaurants will not expect a man to wear his cap at all okay mm. and courthouses when you're in the court some of them will tell you do not wear your cap but i want to wrap up by saying most times when you want especially for ladies when you're wearing your hat um there's nothing wrong with flying your hair when you're wearing your hat but if you want to bring out the real beauty of wearing a cap or a hat actually it's nicer when you tie your hair so you can actually see the beauty of the of, of, of the cap so okay. you can see i've tied my hair so you can actually <laughs> see my cap and not the hair now <laughs> talking about um, where to wear mm. your hat to, right this is a mm. fascinator right yes so where do i wear this to mm. you would wear your fascinator ordinarily you could wear it to church definitely to a ladies lunch to a Sunday afternoon brunch, to like if you're in another country, you wear to the Derby where they're doing horse racing mm -hmm. or anything that is formal where you have to dress up. Okay. So ideally, we do not expect you to wear fascinators with your jeans. We expect you to be fully dressed up and then you just add that to give it that extra. And, and what about this? Yeah, this is also another. This is a lightweight hat mm -hmm. and it's very easy to wear. Also nice and frilly and, you know, it, mm, mm. yes. Oh, wow. This is all yes. about the place. This <laughs> 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 but there again, again, to church or to any formal, so tea parties. So if you this to you church, know, somebody else will have to stretch to, just to be able to see the yeah, altar. But, but, you know, the good thing is that, you know, hats are really fashionable in church nowadays, especially when you're wearing a skirt suit or a dress suit or a dress. It really does add that finesse to whatever you're wearing it's not compulsory to wear it but it just like gives you the panache finish mm -hmm. which is really nice and I, I think when you wear it, it it brings out the elegance in you Looking and for men it brings proper. out the charm in you so you can imagine if you're not wearing that cap now mm, you, see, just look good. you look very just casual but mm. now you look really good thank you <laughs> thank you well, hold thank hold you. On, hold on. Yes. The, the fedora you were talking about yes. this and I wanted to ask you when yes. you said it, when you're dressed in a suit you're not supposed to wear a cap to work. Or to work. Let's yeah. say it's a dress down Friday and I'm wearing just a blazer and a pair of a chinos trousers or a pair of jeans, okay. I can wear that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, must I take it up in a, when I take off the jacket? No, no, you can I definitely mean, wear it. So but always remember to color coordinate. So like this would go nice with chinos with, with you know khaki colored outfit. And you know when you're doing business casual, for instance, you wear dark jacket, please, okay. and light trousers, and then that cap will go well. Mm, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on this morning, welcome. Janet. We've been thank having you. a chat with Janet Aditu on the etiquette of wearing hats. We'll be back at sunrise. Don't go away.